Boys, I am currently 9-0 and in King of the Hill, and today we're going to hop in the Koth queue and see if I can reach the mythical 10-0 record. Let's get it, guys. Alright, here we go, guys. We're here on the map Sands of Time today with the strategy DJ Benjamin Village, Boat, and Sniper, and this is another Koth series, so it's going to be a lot of fun here. It is another Koth series. We're against Mr. Kite here, and the tower bands for the series, guys, were um, Dartling and Druid, so we're both going some some obscure strategies that you don't really see on Sands of Time so much, too much. It looks like they're going bomb here. And I'm going on um, this strategy, which is really cool as well. So, you're yeah, gonna start with my grape shot boat, of course, and we'll get the longer range and stuff here in a second, too, obviously. And that is gonna be the plan starting off here. So, it's fun. Um, I am currently 9 0, guys, in cost. So, if I win this best of three series, I will end up 10 0, which is really hype. I'm one of the highest on the leaderboard right now, so that's pretty hype. Hopefully, I can end this 10 0. That would be that would be amazing. That would be amazing, but yeah. Starting with the boat right here, they are starting with spaced eco as well, so I'd imagine this guy's definitely going a um, farm strategy here. That's what I'd expect, so I want to get my DJ Benjamin down though as soon as humanly possible here. Come on, one more income boost, please, please, please. There we go, we got it down, great. And now we can go to group blues, and I'm also going to go for the longer range cross path on this, and the reason behind that is longer range actually gives it the boat more pierce, so that helps out a lot for like the grapes here, so... Longer range is going to make a big difference for us right there. A big boy difference. But yeah, this is Koth, and um, I have made videos on Koth before, but if you d want to join, by the way, it is free to join uh, everything. Link will be in the top description box down below to join the Discord server. I, I am the owner of it, but yeah. Most of you guys probably already know what Koth is, so just got to bring that in there if there's any new viewers here. If there's any new viewers, you know? All right, let's get the hotshot going in here. Beautiful. They got up their first farm. He actually went for the bigger bombs, I just realized. That is interesting. I'll send them some white balloons next round. Um, because I don't think that's going to solo whites. But, yeah, I don't really see people go for that upgrade too much. It's just interesting to see, you know? It's interesting to see something a little bit different there from my opponent, Mr. Kite. But it's nice. It's nice to see something different. Because normally everyone just goes for the cluster off the start. So, maybe that's the new meta. We'll send them some white balloons here. Get the cannon ship up. They need to go for um, heavy bombs as well. I'm going to keep sending until they get heavy bombs. Keep sending until they get heavy bombs here. They still don't have it. There we go. Heavy bombs have been forced. That is great. Let's see if I can get a merchantman down as soon as possible as well. I want to get merchantman farming up in here. Because merchantman farms are going to be great for me. I don't know if Space Deco will force any leaks on them. The bomb spawn on this map is honestly not the best. Believe it or not. Because, I don't know, there's just like lots of times where balloons can kind of get by it. There's a lot of better bomb spots on like different maps here. So, maybe we send Constant Space Deco, we'll get something by. But I think Biker Bones in combination will kind of pick up the leaks there, so maybe not. Oh, I got that Merchantman down a second too late, guys. Did you see that? Literally a split second too late on that Merchantman. So I did not get the um the money there, which is unfortunate. But we're fine. We're fine. Yellow Balloons. I should be fine against these. Looks like we are. Great. I will just continue Merchantman farming, guys. Continue Merchantman farming in Space Decon right now. I want to get one more of these up, if possible. And then I'll go for a Sniper farm after that. They are down to 61 lives, my opponent, so that's not really... When you have bomb in your loadout, it's actually quite easy to leak lives, so you don't really want to get too low here. They gotta they gotta be careful. They gotta be careful right there, for sure. We got two of those guys down, and we'll make $600 here, I think. It's 300 per, right? Yeah. 300 per there, so we make $600. That's great. Let's see if he sends me a rush here. Does not appear so, so we're gonna greed and get up a village right about there with monkey commerce and then I'm gonna place my sniper next on strong there we go nice full metal jacket we should be good here against these pink balloons yeah we're absolutely solid bouncing bullet nice I may have over equaled a little bit but we're gonna be fine here once we get some money from our merchantmen on these short rounds, we'll be completely fine. And I have DJ Benja Benjamin ability as well off cooldown, so we're good there as well. We are completely good, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to get this um, supply crate and the elite sniper here as soon as possible is the goal. If I can get those really quickly, that's going to help out me out a ton because it's a really good defensive tower. You know what I mean? It's a very good defensive tower right there. Alright, one more income boost. I should go get my supply crate on the map. Come on, there we go. Nice. Okay, we're good. I did not need to boost that, I don't think, but we're good nonetheless. I get Monkey Pirates and use DJ Benjamin ability if they rerush. I did not need to boost that for sure. That was definitely an overreaction, but it's okay. 
100% an overreaction there. How much do you sell for? 3,600? All right. I need a decent amount for this fleet sniper, so we just want to keep track of that. Let's actually just start saving up. Start saving up here. Because I want to make sure I get it when this next uh, crate comes around, pretty much. If I can get when the next crate comes around, that's going to be great for me. He does have um, bomb, bomb sub. I actually didn't even recognize that sub till now, okay? So they don't have village, which is better for me because late game is going to be harder for them with a uh, sub than village. So I think that's honestly better for me here. That they don't have village. Well, sub also allows you to farm harder, so I don't know. I don't know actually which loadout's better. 3600 I need. All right. I would like to do it with just selling the cannon ship if possible. Um, Yeah, we're going to go one more income boost and wait and just sell the cannon ship. Yeah, I should be able to do it right now. Come on, maybe. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Now we get up the max merchantman on the map. Go for one right there, one right there. One right there. One right there. One right there. Just keep spamming them all over the place, pretty much. And I think I'll send them a fortified mob next round as well. Fortified mob's going to be a good rush, I think, to force some defense. Four or five mobs are always a good rush to force some defense against bomb, so we're gonna do that too. We can't let them farm too extremely hard here, so that's definitely the plan. All right, send them a fortified Moab. We'll balloon boost it as well. They're sending me a Moab. I think I'll be fine against this. In all honesty, I have up. Okay, no, he's sending me some multiple. Strong. Yeah, we're good. We're good against those. We are good. All right, keep building up merchantmen. I actually don't know if it's better to go for merchantmen or favorite trades here with the village discount. Favorite trades might still be more efficient. I'm not too sure, but I can build up merchantmen in between. And I don't have to stay, wait as long to save up. So it's, I think it's still better for me to go for merchantmen here, but I'm not 100% sure, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what I should be doing here, because I don't know. All right, we get all that up, nice, and now I can get up my favorite trades. Wait, actually, it's let's get up, yeah, let's get up favorite trades now. Here in a little bit. I can send them a um, ZMG next round as well. I think that would be pre pretty smart. Actually, no, ZMG would be dumb. What am I saying? He has um, he has what's it called? Sub. That's a, that's a dumb rush. That's a dumb rush, Ryan. ZMG is a big boy dumb rush. All right. Let's go Monkey Town here. Just get increased eco going for us, and then we can go for our favorite trades here in a little bit. Actually, or should I go for a Monkey City? See, this is the tough part, guys. There's so many decisions you have to make with the strategy, like what, sh what you should go for to increase your money, because there's like multiple things you can do, you know what I'm saying? There's so many decisions you have to make. Is this guy dead here? The insides might be a trouble. Oh, it pushes. That's a GG. All right, cool. I'll catch you all in his losing map. Let's get it, guys. All right, my opponent's losing map here was Koru, and I had like two strat choices in mind here. I thought I might go tack, um, farm wizard or bomb here. I think I'm gonna go bomb. I think I'm going to go bomb. I want to kind of refine my bomb gameplay a little bit more. And I need, still need to get XP on this um, Striker Jones guy because I don't have Biker Bones unlocked yet, which is kind of crazy to think about. But yeah, I think bomb's going to be the play for me right here. It looks like they're going bomb as well off the rip. They started with their bigger bombs bomb, which is really interesting. I started with my um, Striker, which might be a misplay because I'm leaking a lot. But I wanted to get hero XP, which is the reason behind it. Well, I wanted to level up faster. Well, actually, he got his hero down around one anyways. So maybe that was just a bad play. That's probably just a bad play on my end. But I'm going to go for the frag bombs off the rip instead of going for the bigger bombs. I'll see how this starts out for me. I did leak a lot, though, more than them. And I think that's because I started with my hero and not my bomb here. So I don't know. I don't know. And it looks like they are going really the really slow spaced eco approach. So we are going to have the eco lead this game, which I think will probably make us have an out farm later. But we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. And some, some spaced pit, uh, yells, though, just to force their cluster, hopefully. I don't think that defends yellows. I do not think that offends yellow is what they currently have. We got our cluster, yep. See, now I just, because of my start, I think I can just defend this without the bigger bombs upgrade and I have less defense than them, you know what I'm saying? I think we just defend yells here and we have a hundred, we have four hundred, three hundred fifty dollars less of defense than them right now, which is great. So I'm gonna go for my farm next. So I definitely think my start was better, even though I leaked more, because now I have cheaper defense than them. I'm able to go for that farm. I'm able to go for that farm right there. And I will need to go for bigger bombs here, though, soon, because these pink balloons are pushing quite a bit. Also, I don't know what I'm supposed to target Striker Jones on. Um, probably should target him somewhat, but I didn't, so it's okay. Let's uh, use that ability real quick. Let's get heavy bombs up. Yeah, we're good now. We're good now. We have heavy bombs and everything, so we're, we're completely fine. He did cause a lot of leaks on me. Not gonna lie. He did, he did, they did do a pretty good job making me leak, but 
We are Gucci now with our defense. So we'll continue to eco and send them some black balloons here. Just continue space eco and building up farms while we're at it. Now I do think Biker Bones is better than Striker Jones in pretty much all cases, but again, I don't have it unlocked, guys, so don't have to shred me in the comment section down below. Oh, Ryan, you don't have Biker Bones. Why aren't you using Biker Bones? Blah, blah, blah. I know it's better, guys. I just, I don't have it, okay? I don't have it. While you're down there, though, about to comment something like that, you can go down there and hit the subscribe button with your forehead, guys. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. And also, if you're already subscribed, you can still help me out, guys. Hit that like button as well. Like, come on, guys. We need to get some, we need to get the likes rolling up on this video. Come on. Let's see how, if we can get 1,000 likes on this video. That would be actually insane. Because likes actually help the YouTube algorithm. It kind of helps me out. So, it's a way you guys can help me out real quick. All right. Get this other farm up here. Greater production. As you, okay, we actually are tied in farms here, but I think I do have an eco lead based on their eco patterns. I feel like I definitely should have an eco lead, especially with the fact that I got my first farm down for them because they went for the heavy bomb, the bigger bombs and stuff like that, you know? I think I definitely do have an eco lead here. Looks like they went for a sub. Uh, interesting. I'm gonna go for another farm. They already, they went for a submerge on round nine. The camos don't come out to round 12, homie. You're a little bit, you're a little bit early on that one, my guy. You're a little bit early on that one. Put that money into farms or something. You know what I'm saying? Put that money somewhere where it'd be better spent. All right, now we'll go for our submerge. We'll go for it right here. Oh, it goes for a reactor. Interesting. I don't think a reactor is necessary with bomb. You can just go for um clusters, right? See, we're good there. We are good there. I can get the second one up to a cluster just to be safe because I definitely have a big out farm now. So I'd rather be safe than sorry here with it. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be safe. And we'll continue farming. We will continue farming up a storm here. Banana plantation. on the. Actually, I probably should have went for the marketplace. I don't know. Yeah, see, the camel balloons just aren't good. The sub D camel's fast enough and these bombs can clean it up. It's just an expensive rush that doesn't really do much. You know what I'm saying? Expensive rush that doesn't really do anything for you. I don't agree with going for the reactor there. I mean, well... 2800 I guess going for the reactor is about the same price as going for another heavy bombs. But I think the heavy bombs offer more utility. Plus, I don't even have a second heavy bomb, so I just have a cluster right now. I think just going for bombs instead of the reactor upgrades definitely the move here, in my opinion. He sent me one ceramic. That's not going to do anything. He needs to send multiple to do anything. Bomb is just so good on this map, guys. The, like, the explosion radius like literally goes around with the curve like perfectly there. So it's like, bomb is just like really good on this map. So yeah. We can go for a third farm right there. Nice. Yeah, we just have a giant out farm. And I assume that we probably have similar ecos. I mean, they just made a few purples, but I, th I would think we probably have really similar ecos as well. I just have the big out farm lead. We'll keep this, we'll get this bomb on strong here, which we can upgrade to a mole or if they send me Moabs. We'll see if they continue the aggression they've been showing me. Let's also go get this bomb on first, actually, I think. I want a bomb on first just to make sure we're popping stuff. Oh, crap. I went for the wrong upgrade. Um. Let's just stun it. Let's just stun it. Am I dead? Dude, I choked so hard. I choked so hard. I upgraded the Moab Mauler wrong, and that costed me it. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. It is 1-1 in the series right now. So if I lose this match, I lose my perfect record. Everything's on the line here, and we are on the map ports, which makes things even more interesting. So we are going sub heli and um, ninja here. So I'm gonna start with my heli, of course, right about there. Place it down, get it up. Oh, I forgot, you can actually place a heli where he placed it. That's definitely a better spot to place it early on, so I could just bring it up faster, you know what I mean? So, good thing to note right there. Well done to Mr. Kite. I didn't know you could place the heli there until now, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna place the heli down and get my um, Oban on round two, obviously. I would imagine we're going the same strategy here, because he brought Oban as well. So, I'd imagine we're both going sub heli ninja. That would make the most sense to me. Let's get my Oban down here. Beautiful. He actually ends up going for quad darts instead of the Oban. Fair enough. I am going to leak quite a bit here, which is fine with me. I am going to leak a lot, but I think it's calculated leaks. It's calculated leaks, guys. Listen. Everything's calculated here. All right. Oh, I definitely should have... Well, the thing is, I got the grouped eco lead on them. I was going to say, they afforded their quad darts and their Oban in round three, but I got the grouped eco lead on them, so I don't know. Maybe I should go for quad darts before I go for Oban, and then I might still be afforded in round two. I'm not sure exactly on the math on that. But I might have done that in the wrong order there. I definitely could have done that in the wrong order. I'm not too sure. And I'm still leaking. Okay, that's actually... I need to start space decoing here. I need to start space decoing here. To forward my submarine. I might put myself in treacherous territory territory right here. By over-ecoing. That's what I might be doing. So, 
Let's do that. Let's target this over there. Use the brambles. Come on now. There we go. Because I need 2250 roughly after I get for those. Yeah, I need still a lot of money here. This could be bad. This could be bad, guys. I can burn a boost. I can burn a boost. One more income boost. There we go. Calculated. Calculated. Oh, it looks like they went for airburst or something. Instead, they went for a different path. Okay, maybe that's the better way to do it. Airburst is cheaper. Yeah, airburst is probably actually better to do. I didn't do that. I didn't know. That's actually probably smart. That's really smart right there. It's really smart. Well, I can send them some yellows, though. Yellows will push through, right? Yells will push through what they currently have. I guess that's one downside of doing what that they had. We're actually not even too much. Airburst is OP, dude. Airburst is cracked. Well done. I am down one boost, which I don't really don't like, but we're alive, and that's all that matters, to be honest with you. That's all that matters, the fact that we're alive. But I think their start's definitely better going for an airburst there instead of going for a reactor. I just never saw that as an option, I guess. I never thought of it, guys. I never thunk of it. We'll go for a submarine right there. Looks like they got their reactor up. Well done. Well done, well done. We'll continue space decoying here. Continue throwing those down. Are you sending me region zebras? It's not going to do anything. That didn't seem like a very smart rush, to, in my opinion. Not the smartest rush, but it's all good. Round 10. We'll send them some lead balloons. We'll get this up to ballistic missile here in a second. They're sending me region blocks. Very interesting. This guy's sending me some weird rushes. Continue ecoing. Throw the brambles down as always. Airburst starts. I actually don't know if air do airburst starts increase the ballistic firing rate. I don't know if it actually makes a difference there. So let me know in the comment section down below. Does it, airburst starts change the rate that the ballistic missile fires? Or does it just add the uh, airburst like attack? You know what I'm saying? Get ready to place another ballistic missile if he does rush me though. Currently we're just brambles farming and equaling with green balloons while we save up for my heli farm and everything. I just want to have some money on standby just in case he sends me rushes. You know what I'm saying? I want to have some money on standby, but right now they're not. I guess I could force their um, ballistic missile here. We'll send them a little bit. Beautiful. I'll get another submarine right about there, which I can upgrade if need be. And we'll get my heli down. Keep throwing the brambles down as well. Pretty identical gameplay from both sides of the click so far. Pretty identical gameplay. So they send me a fortified Moab. I get up some stuff. They are. Is it just one? I boosted. Hello? Okay. We're good. He's gonna all out me this round. I can tell. Uh, doesn't look like it actually. Alright. There's a little bit of lag going on as well. I'm really scared. I'm really scared right now. There's a bit of lag going on. We'll go for my support Chinook. Actually, no. I'm gonna all out them. I'm gonna all out them. I don't think they defend this, to be honest with you. Come on. Send more. Why is the lag happening? They're dead. What? Dude. I can't send stuff because of lag. I literally can't send stuff because of lag. Okay, we won. We won. GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you my call. Peace.